Live from Don't Ever Bank Your Field in Croxham Skull, Florida, it's time for some mutant football. It's hard for me to figure out what my favorite part of coming to Florida is. The best part of Florida is leaving so you can read the headlines instead of witnessing them. This is the only place that the nuclear wasteland actually improved. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Croxham Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Mutants I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh! I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team! <laughs> what a topic, QB! With that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho-ho! va 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 boom He's at the 20! He's at the 10! Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object! You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one. Eight. And he just slipped. Ouch! Out. What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down and eight. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak go, he's unstoppable. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. And here comes the extra point attempt. Hey. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? First and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. 
And that'll be second and eight. Look out. That's an all-out attack on the QB. His only chance is to run up. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And that'll be second down and four. And that's a catch for three yards. And that'll bring up third and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting ran through. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Interception! And that's how you stop an offense! Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down! Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo! All I need is 77 to bite it! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run. It and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Second down and ten. Ah, oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And this game is up for grabs. Third down and, well, good luck. I knew when the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week. He meant it literally. Situation where they should always, always, always punt. Well, and with another pick to 
QB says, I don't know. Oh, he got mugged. More like a mafia hit. And coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Why did I miss? Why did I miss? Ah, oh, shit. Well, here comes the punting. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, with a punishing hit. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. <laughs> he's not just burning down the house. He's taking it to the house. He could go all the way. Freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, eh, didn't work that time. It was close though. Yep. And it's first and ten. with a monster hit! Well, technically, they're all monster hits, Grim, because, you know, they're all monsters. Point taken. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, Alex, if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Man, eh, not a ball's feelings are hurt. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the chair. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Third down and five. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and three. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Nobody can touch you on our ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. 
And so, that's the two-minute warning. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Third down and long. Picks up eight yards on a strong run. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout. So they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball, Grim? Maybe if they use their last timeout. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Nice catch. And in fact, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Ah, another interception. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. up eight yards on that pass. The Crutch and Skull Jugular seem to have run out of people to kill and win this one by forfeit. I should have known they'd know about anatomy. What would they name it all? I didn't think they'd actually pull the other guys apart and demonstrate it, though. This was practically a science show. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I know the wounds taste just like chicken. I was it scrambled tomato soup? Forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn, I know. Mm -mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every.